with the series finale rapidly approaching, the Ontario Performance Rally Championship returns to Quebec for its penultimate round, Rally Dafy. OPRC season began its second half at the Black Bear Rally. Jean Sebastian Besner arrived seeking redemption after a disastrous outing in the previous round. Taking the lead from the first stage, the Quebec veteran never looked back, decisively securing the win. Former North American and Ontario champion Andrew Comrie Picard returned to the series after a long hiatus, but with an unfamiliar car to tame, he struggled to match Besner's pace, settling for second on the overall podium. Championship contenders Bruno Laverdier and Simon Vasson were left to fight for the third position in the most heated battle between the two this year. But after leading for most of the day, Laverdier narrowly lost out to Vasson finishing just off the podium. In two-wheel drive, Zoltan Kovac continued a drama-filled season, being forced to drive nearly the entire event with no clutch. Even with the added challenge, Mitsubishi managed to hold off the blitzing Philippe Benoit and take the class win. Gary Sutherland rounded out the top three. The result allowed Vasson to close the championship gap from Le Verdier to just six points, with Jean-Sebastien Besner close behind in third. And in the two-wheel drive standings, Benoit held the top spot ahead of Kovac and Sutherland. Rally Davy marked the fifth of the six rounds on the season's calendar. Situated in the Outaouais Valley less than an hour from Ottawa, 2016 edition covered just 74 stage kilometers spread over 11 high-speed stages. Even with the limited stage distance, Simon Vasson wasted little time taking a commanding lead. By the first service, the novice driver held nearly a 30-second lead. Patrick Rainville returned to the driver's seat at Davy after nearly four years away from competition. Despite the long layoff and tackling the stages for the first time in the four-wheel drive category, Rainville led the early battle for the second place of the year. It's the first time ever on the all-wheel drive car. Uh, we learned the car, we make adjustments, try to understand. I didn't know the time at all, I didn't look at the time yet, but uh, the pace is good and, uh, and, and we implement the time, uh, the pace every single stage. We'll see at the end of the day where we are. Unfortunately, Rainville and co-driver John Merry were forced to retire midway through the day with overheating problems. The departure elevated Alberta entrants Justin and Chrissy Bailiff to the second position, but with only a few seconds lead over championship leader Bruno Laverdier, the pair eventually dropped to third as Laverdier found his rhythm following a shaky start. Started slow, I was a little bit disappointed, uh, but the second uh, pass in the uh, Clique à la Roche was much better. I know Simon was, must be going faster. He's uh, warmed up uh, since he did the national yesterday. Normally I start fast, but I wasn't quite fast enough, I believe. Like his father, Nicolas Leverdier was also locked in a tight battle for the lead in two-wheel drive with class championship leader Philippe Benoit. The two drivers traded stage wins in the class at blistering pace, but an aggressive approach to the short spectator stages gave Laverdier the early lead. In his first 
biggest event since the opening round of the season, Chris Krebsky paired with 2015 champion co-driver Jeff Hagen to tackle his local stages. After escaping a few minor mechanical issues early in the day, the Volkswagen duo settled into a comfortable third position in two-wheel drive, a position they would hold to the finish. The day overall went uh, very smoothly, um, just had some minor mechanical problems, had to change the right front ball joint after uh, the first loop. Overall very happy, this is my first time on gravel since uh, this event two years ago, so I'm very happy with how it all went. Suffering from engine problems on the afternoon stages, Nicolas Laverdier and Vincent Trudel dropped significant time in the two-wheel drive standings. With the problem sorted at the final service break, the two pushed hard through the final loop to hold on to second place. We uh, lost us, uh, one cylinder on the engine and run all the entire loop with uh, three cylinder and half of power. We uh, fixed the engine at the service, only a wire that came off uh, of the distributor. The, the last loop was incredible. We push hard and have a lot of fun. Really great rally. With Laverdier dropping back, Benoit and co-driver Maxime Gagnon took over the top position in the class. Continuing their impressive pace to the finish, Pair took their first two-wheel drive win of the season. The car was absolutely fine. Team was right on target with it. We were good with the, the way uh, the, the handling was, and uh, the back end was a bit too much. Uh, the car was oversteering for very too much of my taste. Doesn't seem to have hurt quite, uh, quite a lot since uh, but we're there. But uh, other than that, very fine. For the overall podium, Bruno Laverdier continued to build on his lead over Justin Bailiff through the high speed final stages. The impressive pace secured Laverdier second place overall, ahead of Bailiff in third. Finishing with nearly a two minute lead, Simon Vasson and Hubert Guadro were in a class all their own. Winning 10 of the 11 stages, the Quebec duo took the win in decisive fashion. Uh, they went uh, perfect for me, I uh, had a great result, uh, first place, uh, it puts me in a great position for the last round of the OPRC at All Pine, so I'm really looking for that final round and to, uh, I hope to become champion of the OPRC uh, in 2016, that's my goal. Today I kept uh, the first place all day long, I tried to do not do the same mistake I usually do. So now I was uh, very consistent. Hubert Gaudreau did a wonderful job and with the pace, don't get me in the pace all day long. So uh, hats, my hats off to, uh, to him. Uh, brilliant job and to Test Racing did a great job also uh, repairing the car during the weekend. Uh, great job to them also. It was hard, uh, you know, uh, he's uh, pushing hard, uh, harder and harder. So I think he's gonna push very hard. He doesn't have the choice at Tall Pine. So he's gonna push hard there. And uh, yeah, it's a great battle that I'm looking forward at Tall Pine. The win places Vincent just a single point behind Bruno Laverdier heading into the final round. Both drivers sit out of reach of third place Besner. And with Benoit securing the two-wheel drive title, Nicolas Laverdier narrowly takes over the lead in the competition for second position ahead of Zoltan Kovac and Gary Sutherland. So the series title will once again be decided at the season finale, the Rally of the Tall Pines. The fearsome roads and unpredictable weather make for the ultimate test to end the 2016 edition of the OPRC.